What's up, JPC gang? Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. That's right, it's your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Today we're gonna make some Cuban sandwiches. Quick and simple and easy, but elevated. It's another vacation. Pack your bags, we're going to Cuba. Cuba, I know. Let's jump right into this video. This is another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. Let's eat. 55. Let's go, baby. What's up, gang? Welcome back. Listen. Today we doing this Cuban sandwich, baby. It's all about the fresh ingredients. Simple, but elevated. Fresh cut deli ham, this honey ham with the pork, the juicification on the pork. Let's get right into it though, listen. On this sandwich, we making us a garlic butter sauce. We making it for the, for the bread. We got some of this good, the good good. We're not making our own bread today because we ain't got time for that. But we are going to the next level. To start this sauce out for the bread, this garlic butter. We got to have the butter, baby. It's better with the butter. So we're going in with about three tablespoons of unsalted butter. And we running this baby cast iron. We running this baby cast iron on high because we want this butter to melt down. Put that richness, that extra flavorification to this sandwich. It's elevated. The Cuban is a classic. Cuban sandwich, you can almost go to any deli, I mean, any Cuban restaurant. If they ain't got a Cuban sandwich. It's not a Cuban restaurant. Of course, you got your other your other uh, signature dishes, your other authentic dishes, your traditional dishes. But this is one of the top. This is top, baby. Shout out to Cuba. One of my most favorite things to do in this world, right here, this crazy world that we living in, to hop on the plane, fly to paradise, smoking me a Cubana. Just enjoying life, but my Cubana game, yeah, my cigar game. We got the new money, the old money, and all that, baby. Listen, shout out to all the big stogie smokers out there. Get your stogie, man, kick back, relax, and hey, don't burn your mustache. <laughs> all right, so look, you saw this butter that melted down. Now we're gonna move this to like a low heat. We're going extra low on the heat. Two tablespoons of minced garlic going in. A teaspoon of oregano. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Give it a mix. Make sure you cut it down at this point, because one thing, you do not want that garlic to burn. It's not a good taste, become real bitter and not pleasant. Get in here and take a look at this. Just that quick, you can see some of the garlic starting to brown and it's real fragrant. In here, it smell like it smell like we, we we somewhere in Italy right now, man. We in Cuba. Take all of that and put it, get it right down into our bowl. That's good. Take some of this good good, this E V O O extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna get us about a tablespoon of that right into the bowl. Give it a mix. Good stuff. This is what we're gonna spread on this this fresh bread and give it that little crispification on the outside. This is gonna be delicious. Kick it up all the way to the max. It was that quick. The longest part about this recipe is uh, roasting your pork. Typically in the Cuban sandwich, you're gonna have some roasted pork with all these different herbs and a little spices. It's simple, but like I said, it's elevated. But on this pork, if you wanna go ahead and click on this link up here or check out this video down here in the description, we smoke this pork. Typically it's roasted, but we smoke this pork. It's gonna give it another depth of flavor. It's gonna give you some of that smoky, them smoky notes. Check out that video if you wanna learn how to do this pork. This is some great pork, I guarantee you that. And this ham is just something I got from my meat dealer. Yeah, I got this from my meat dealer, baby. This is a honey smoked ham. This here, flavorification is gone through the roof. This is it, guys, right here. This is the key to a great Cuban sandwich. Let's prepare some of my sides, so check this out. This sandwich is all about fresh ingredients, authentic ingredients. Take a look at this bread here. Smell delicioso. This is some uh, genuine, authentic Cuban bread. My bread dealer got me this. <laughs> so I hope your bread dealer can take care of you, but if not, just use just some type of hoagie roll or, you know, make it work. But this is the good stuff, the authentic Cuban bread. This is what we're using today. Set that out to the side. Another key ingredient on this sandwich is the pickles, baby. Crispification on these pickles. We're gonna cut this horizontal, long ways, quarter inch. We're gonna try to keep it a quarter inch. You know, we ain't perfect, JPC gang. But we gotta have some good pickles for this sandwich. I don't know if y'all remember, man, with the, with, with the pickle lady going to the candy house. This was the best part. Drop a thumbs up if, if you out there, man, you used to drop a, uh, a nine later, look at how much juice in that pickle. You just drop your nine later or peppermint in your pickle. I hope I ain't the only one you used to do that. Like I say, man, we I'm from Texas, man. I grew up on the other side. You used to go to the candy house, get the pickles, and drop us a nine later in there. Good stuff. <laughs> no, not now later. I'm sorry, not now later. Jolly Rancher. Yeah, the hard candy. We used to put the Jolly Ranchers in there. Cherry Jolly Rancher. Put them down in the pickle and let it marinate. Put them about two or three in there. Let it marinate. It's like a Kool-Aid pickle. Have you ever had Kool-Aid pickles? I know, come on now. Gang, gang. I know you didn't had Kool-Aid pickles. Drop it down in the comment. What's your favorite Kool-Aid pickle? Pickles or slice? You can't do it without pickles. Don't do it without pickles. If you don't like pickles, it, 
you don't like the Cuban sandwich. And it's that simple. So get the pickles off to the side. It's another key ingredient, mustard. Tangy, sometimes you can get it spicy. This is just plain yellow mustard. I mean, if you wanna kick it up a notch and go with the spicy or Dijon or whatever, do what you do. Authentic Cuban sandwich, yellow mustard, just like that. Take the edges off of it with a sharp knife. Cause we not making no wimpy Cuban sandwich. The fluffification and airiness inside of that bread. Half of these, we need the top half and the bottom half. It's exposed. Another key ingredient, the Swiss cheese, baby. Make sure you get a great quality Swiss cheese. I plan on going to Cuba. I, I don't got a date, I don't know when, you know. Jay-Z and Beyonce went over there and I almost started World War III. You ready to build this sandwich? Before we build this sandwich up, I wanna heat up this pork. A tablespoon of EVOO extra virgin olive oil. The sizzle, baby. Bring it up to temperature. Just enough to where we can shred it and it still be the mortification. A lot of the fats in there are melt back of where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be melted. You know we gotta kick it up a notch just to ensure everything is good. We're gonna go in with a tablespoon of the magic dust. Big Smokies, BBQ.com. Get you some magic dust. I'm gonna do a whole video on this magic dust. Just, you know, kind of give you a free tips on what to use it in and how to use this magic dust. Because don't get me wrong, you can go out there and just throw it into anything you want to. And I can almost guarantee you, it's gonna turn that dish from basic all the way up. It's a way to use that magic dust. You could be smoking, grilling, roasting, frying. But that's a whole nother video, a whole nother topic. Listen, the pork is up to temperature. So let's turn it off. We're gonna leave it in the cast iron skillet, but we are gonna cut the heat off on it. The cast iron, you know it's gonna keep that ambient heat. It's gonna keep that thing, keep everything warm. Everything is nice. We finna build us a Cubano, a Cuban sandwich. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. We still on vacation, we in Cuba, baby. They back open. Cuba, we ain't beefing no more. That was a long time ago. It was going at it since back in the 60s. It's a whole new situation. That's a new day and time. People are using a voice. If I can tell you anything, gang, if you watching me and you listening to me right now, you have a voice. Use it. Get out and vote. Let your voice be heard. Black lives matter. Let's build this sandwich, baby. Bread, garlic, butter, mop the top. Both sides, mop the top. Bought the flat top out. We're gonna get this down for one minute. Toasty bread. Take some of our yellow mustard, get the mustard down. If you like a lot of mustard, then add more mustard. That'll work for us. Cheese, baby. Swiss cheese. Garlic oil right up top. Spread some of that garlic oil right down. Mm-hmm. Just like that. That hot pork on top of that Swiss cheese. Then you must have forgot about the ham. Lay that ham out. Smoky flavor with that honey in there. That's about all you need. Save one for De Niro. Y'all know who De Niro is? Come here, buddy. Let me introduce y'all to De Niro. Say hello. Say hello, buddy. He want the, he want the, he want the. What it tastes like? It's good stuff? It's good stuff? It's good stuff, man? It's good stuff? <laughs> Say hello to the camera, De Niro. Say hello to the camera. Say what's up, y'all? Say what's up, daddy gave me something. Say daddy gave me some ham, I'm lit. Give me a pop. That's my boy right there. Sit. All right, let me finish working. Going back in there. All right, JPC gang. We had to wash our hands. You know we stand clean. We don't play them games. I love De Niro. We can't play with our food. Not at all. Clean hands. Don't put the pickles on just yet. It's really by choice. If you want to put your pickles on but right now, go right ahead, be my guest. But this is what I want to do. Put the top on. I don't want to put the pickles on just yet. Spray our, our top right now, because we don't want nothing sticking. Not too heavy. This sandwich is typically pressed. It's stressed out. Pick this big boy up. Come right down on the top. Go we'll make sure we pressed. We took us a brick with the foil. Pressure right down on top. Two minutes on each side. Give it a flip, just like this. That simple, baby. Right back up top with our brick. Put the pressure on. We put the pressure on it. It's got the crispification up top. The Cuban sandwich. Open her up real quick. Come across with our pickles. Pickles on. Close up. The Cuban sandwich. Know this gonna be good. Bust it open. Got it on the board. Cut it open. The serrated knife. Let's see what we got, gang. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Look at the cross, cross hatch on them things, man. Mm-hmm. We in Cuba, smoking on Cubans, eating Cuban. You got to taste this game. Check it out. Come here. You got to do the hunch for this one. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> My God. That my good. I'm just gonna come on down and see it. This the best fucking sandwich I done ever had. Hands down. Hands down. No cap. You got to go try this sandwich out, man. Listen. I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure you go smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Because we always jamming and cooking, man, over here at Jam Pack Cooking.
We just made it back from Cuba, baby. Me and the gang. Till next time, baby. Peace and love. I might finish all these by myself.